lots of people will are praying for you.
Yeah, so with the open heart surgery, I, I'll defer Hello. to the, the CT surgery team on that your, um, because they are the ones yeah. that will be idea. monitoring you yeah. after the procedure. You ready? And they can I'm give you a better have timeline on that. Well, Is there any non-open heart surgery left? <laughs> No, of course. Uh, <laughs> like no. they like they did for my son with the hernia <laughs> surgery, which was not open. Monitor. No, the body was just like uh, surgically um, so many wires, fixed with right? uh, a camera and move yeah. one one move the organs to the side and the other one make a stitch. Yeah, no, unfortunately they have to go. Not that far they yet. They have huh? to go under your uh, breastbone, so they have to. Um, yeah, it's kind of a little bit of obviously an invasive procedure, uh, yeah. but. All the details, I, I would defer to them. Like, I don't want to give you any false okay. information, but well, they they would be giving you all of the risk versus benefits, exactly what would be happening, you know, what the timeline is to expect, okay. and so on and so forth. And they should be seeing you at some point today, because we did put the um, consult in. So as soon as we do that, they will um, they will have some look up to you. Okay. okay, can you can you do the same? Can they do the same thing that we're doing? Oh, I'm sure. I know the peer of yours do. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they can, yeah. Okay. All right. So I, you're, you're not thinking it's going to be immediate. You're thinking okay. um, okay. until the end of the day? Oh, you can say something. Uh, the procedure won't be today, Mom. They'd okay. have to give me another, no, no, another no, pass. No, oh, the consult? No. Uh, the, the, consult, the consult should happen today, yes. Okay. Um, I obviously can't guarantee that, but it should happen today. Um. <laughs> Um, yeah, because they're like, like I said, they're a completely separate group from us. We just tell them that, you know, we need the consult. This is what you, what we think you need, and then they they go from there. Um, but what I can tell you is, like, like I said, you have to have, you have to have a certain amount of workup before um, they'll do the procedure. So they usually, you know, they usually do some lung function tests to see what your lungs are like. Um, you know, they'll get a little bit more imaging sometimes um, just to make sure that you're deemed fit actually for the procedure because they don't want to put you through that if they think that you're high risk. But you're a young guy without any other real health hitch issues. Not, really not extremely that. overweight, but slightly over or slightly obese. No, no, it's not, it's not compared to uh, some of the people that have majority majority of people, yeah. I've seen some pretty skinny people who haven't had surgeries like this, though. Oh, They've been smokers or drinkers, so yeah, and just, I guess I just got the lucky bet. Yeah, and just family, you know, genes, yeah. too. Genetics, unfortunately, um, are not yeah. very nice sometimes. So. Um, I'll ask Polly, okay? what you got, right? Yeah, I don't absolutely. know if she wants to leave that or not. Um, so does that all make sense? Yeah, for the most part. Uh, so we just have to wait a while longer. Yeah, so like I said, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get a good sense of a, a timeline and, and um, you know, everything exactly when you talk to CT surgery, but I can tell you that, you know, we will be following along and we'll just make sure that you're stable in the meantime. Do you know or have an idea what recovery time to be looking That's at. the thing. I, I don't want to give you an exact number because I don't usually see patients uh, post okay. open heart surgery. We just see them before. Um, so I, I can't give you an exact time. My boss said, I th can, I, can I assume you'll be out of work for two to three months? He wanted to start the disability uh, paperwork. So. I'm not sure about that long, but... I, just, I, I was would, hoping not that long. I, I was hoping maybe a sure. month. Okay, do you need help you can get a better, yeah. Do you need you help can get a better test when you talk to them? No. I imagine it takes time to heal bone back together if they're going to... And they have to watch you for a certain amount of time, you know, in the ICU after. Because you usually will, you know, have some sort of drain. So the workup will be more medical problems or medical questions for me, right? Yeah, they just kind of they just kind of deem you to be fit for the procedure, um, and like I said, just kind of briefly meeting you. I don't think there's going to be much concern there. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you for allowing us to consult with you to consult. Yeah, no problem. Anytime, and um, you know, I'm sure they'll they'll be willing to. Um, talk to everybody on the phone as well, and just have kind of a group to talk about it, so. Okay. Right. Other than that, um, if you don't have any other questions for me, I'll do a quick exam here, and then I'll get working okay. on some stuff for you. I'll talk right, to you well, later. I'll see you in a little bit, Joe. All okay. right, Mom. Thank you. Yeah.
Yep, bye. Sometimes you have to have help even if you don't want to have help. What's that? Sometimes you get help even if you don't want to have help. Yeah, I did, right? Without using that wrist too much, I'm just going to have you lean forward a little bit. Nice deep breath. So the other, the only other thing um, on the catheterization that we look at is you some we look at um, filling pressures and it can kind of tell us if you have maybe a little bit of fluid overload um, and you don't really have much it's ba barely elevated which means you might have maybe just a little bit of fluid back up into your lungs but I don't really hear much back there you're not short of breath um, so sometimes even just like maybe one dose of labor. Is that because I cut, we cut it early, or so uh, is that just your, because the conditions have happened? So no, your heart, your the pumping function of your heart is down a little bit, okay, and it's not horribly unexpected when you have you know the blockages that you're having in the so because yeah you know, it can affect your heart a little bit, but it's not something that's permanent. Yeah, you know, it will come back up. Um, we just have to make sure you're on the right medication. You know, put you on. I'm gonna have to. Medications again, but I'm going to adjust this when I go out of here. Um, but basically, being on a beta blocker, uh, being on lisinopril or Lasart, and those are things that take a lot of strain off the heart. Um, so when you have a decreased function, a pumping function, it'll help bring that back up. And the bypass are your well. Can we monitor how the heart's pumping? Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's not like a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent would actually be fifty to fifty-five to sixty. So that imagine that being your hundred percent, like your full okay. capacity. You're at like forty to forty-five. So you're a little, just a little decreased, but it's not as bad as it could be. Okay. All right. Okay. And um, sorry, what was your name? I didn't. Cecil. Cecil. Nice yeah. to meet you. I'm sorry for the bad news, but I think yeah. you know, getting this. Catching it early and getting it over with is going to be very beneficial. Okay. All right. All right. Nice okay. meeting both of you. Thank Take you. Care. Take care. I just uh, get well here. Where a lot of people will are praying for you mm -hmm. and uh, helping. I appreciate okay? that. I appreciate that a lot. Let us know what's the update. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And okay. and give BJ and George a kiss for me. Thank you very, very much for praying for my husband's uh, surgery and for his recovery. Maraming maraming salamat po. Shout out to my channel members. Thank you very much. Thank you.